Right, ladies and gents, um, the inside of the Bergen uh, and down the sides. I'm going to have a side pouch, uh, a little slip pouch, I'd call it, down the si inside of the Bergen. Uh, so I can put various items in there and just get them, just to keep it all separated. Like I say, if you're building it, building it to uh, how you want it for your convenience. Um, so what I've done there, I'm not going to tell you what this is for, because I bet nobody will guess. But I've taken uh, an off-cut of that um, Vest Ministry Dispense uh, Spec uh, sort of material. I've cut it to the length I want, okay, uh, fold at the folds at the bottom. And uh, as I want things to come in and out of it, you'll see I've just done the Velcro there. Now, all I'm going to do is turn it inside out, sew this up, and then that'll be done. But um, if you imagine that there, so that's the inside of your burger, and that's the outside of your burger. Now, that's the inside, so you'll be able to go in and get what you want. But I also want this to come in and out of the burger because it's going to serve uh, another two purposes. Okay, ladies and gents so uh, I'm not going to tell you what that is but so to allow me to do that on the inside of the Bergen so if you imagine that's the inside of the Bergen now I'm going to sew a piece of velcro there onto the Bergen and another piece of velcro on the outside so it's well it's, it's secured into the Bergen but when I want to get it out and take it and use it um, for an intended purpose and an intended piece of kit um, I, I've got the ability just to take it in and out of the Bergen uh, otherwise it's uh, just sat there securely uh, doing what I wanted to do which is performing the main task which is uh, something I can slip you know various bits of kit in there anyway once I've done all that I'll bring it back right last time you saw this it was all in one long strip what I did before I, I sewed it up put a bit of uh, webbing on that and just sewed a D-ring to it and the same one there, sewed a, a D-ring onto it. Now uh, we'll see, I want it closing, there's a reason for this. I'm not going to tell you until the end what this is for either. Um, it's something I've, I've meant to make, but I'll just make it and incorporate it into my Bergen. So it's, I've always got it there. Is a uh, Velcro closing at the top. And as you can see here, there's another piece of Velcro on the outside. It's a lot easier to show than it was to explain. Uh, so this will be able to be removed from the inside side of the Bergen and again I'll bring you back to explain that better and here we see the shiny side the inside of the Bergen and this is the side that's going to be the back of the Bergen so this pouch and you will see I have corresponding bit of a 20 millimeter velcro that's all it needs to be sewn on there and obviously on that side you'll see on the outside that's where the silky saw pouch is just did it on that side that's another reason why it was good to have it to pull on and pull off because obviously i would have had to sew through the silky pouch there so a lot of thought thoughts needed and it's like everything else i keep banging away at it is uh you've got to sew everything on before you sew it inside out and then turn it the right way around but let's just bring you back to this little pouch now as we will see there's a piece of velcro there velcro male and female oh, i like that bit <laughs> and uh as you'll see this is a bit on there down the side of the bergen you'll have to push your, your kit out of the way to get it in and out i know that but that now as it's there will be um for anything i want to put in there um any bit of kit, axe, knives, anything like that, anything I just want to be able to get hold of quickly and have it separated from the rest of the kit. But um, I mean, the easiest thing to do would it just be one strip and sew, sewing it all the way around. I may do that the other side, I'm not sure. Just a simplest pouch. But I actually want this pouch to, I mean, there's the top of the burger, remember? So I can reach down, pull it off, pull it out, and use it. And I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to, this is for. Um, and this can be used uh, at other times with different bits of kit. But I'm not going to tell you why. Um, I'll keep you guessing on that one. <laughs> right, so that's mostly the inside of the Bergen done. Um, there's the inside. There is the uh, inside here. That's the inside of the back. And I'm going to have one pouch there. And it'll be a slip pouch. I'll just bring you back because I've already made that to show you it. Well, as did, sir, here's the outside of the Bergen. As we can see, that's where the zip-on pouch will go. Um, 
Okay, here's their silky saw pouch. Um, initially, I was just going to saw it straight on there, uh, but like I say, I've done it. I can attach it to any Bergen with the side straps anyway, so any other Bergen that I'm using at the time. So it's multi purpose, or my new word is modular. Let me say. I can't show you the silky saw in there because my wife has had to tidy up and she can't find out where she put it. But I'll come across it at some point. And all I've decided to do there, ladies, as I'm making it myself, is uh, oop, be able to pull it off. Could make a bit of a sling there, but a simple bit of power cord which will be stored at the bottom of the pouch will just empty out like that. Uh, tight on there, tight on there with a little. Um, the tie knot, I can't remember the name or not, so I can just literally flick it over my back when I'm carrying the wood back. So here we go. We'll see corresponding ones there. Why not? Why not? Here we go. So that's that, and uh, that will obviously have a um, big side patch on that. So that's one side uh, sorted out for me. Bring you back, show you the other one. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's obviously a lot later on in the old uh, tightwad household now. Still working on the outside of the Bergen. Like I say, I've finished the, uh, the straps and all that for the back. Um, I'll tell you what, my technical advisor, David Fred, is going to be like ever so, so you know, impressed with this because normally I think, right, that'll do, that'll do. That. But as you know, Dave is, well, and he makes stuff for people, so he is an annoying perfectionist. But I thought, yeah, why not just replicate it? So being a bit posh like, you see under there, there's the side zips, that's where the silky saw pouch will go and as you can see I've just sewed a few covers over there, each one I think that sort of improves the look and so forth and done one on that side. Um, if you want to do that, um, I've got some strips of material here, I'll, uh, before I end this sort of phase of it I'll just show you how I went from that to that ladies and gents yeah, but without sitting there showing you loads of stuff underneath the machine because uh, I think the last film had a, enough of that but anyway some posh zip covers <laughs> yeah well I never right ladies and gents I'm going to try and not get my head in the way yeah um, so that is you want that an inch and a half longer than your zip and uh, I think that's about two and a half inches wide I did that so what I'm going to do here that's the, the wrong side, that's the right side. Fold it over there, sew it down there. And then what you do is you cut off a little bit of a triangle there, and it does help, because that way you're not going to go through through three layers of materials. Okay, and then sew all the way down there and do the same at the bottom end. Okay, so it's a straight stitch down there. That gets folded, and then you just stitch up there. And I'll show you, I'll leave one side clear and I'll, I'll, I'll bring you back for that. Right ladies gents, uh, I've sewed it down there and sewed it down there. Now it needs to be longer than your zip obviously because you've got to sew it across. But remember, shiny side up because what I'm going to do is now uh, sew it all the way down there like that. And then I'm going to, you, as your, your foot comes down, stop it. And then if necessary, just lift your foot, but keep your needle in the material, and then you'll be able to work your zip all the way up past um, the actual needle, and you'll carry on. But um, obviously, once I've sewn all the way down there, I'll turn it over, and then sew down there. But just a little bit crucial to make sure you get a little bit of overhang at each side, that way you can get your fingers in to actually do your zip up. So, right, um, I'll get that done, ladies and gents, and I'll, I'll bring you back. Uh, in fact, I'll just show you how to do one, if I can still get here, work the machine with my foot without moving that camera. Oh. Right, so I want it there, and that's to there. Right. So, pull that down out of the way. Awesome. Again, I'll keep saying it, whenever you're going to sew something, hit the back button. And yes, Fred, I can't be getting on with that uh, little knee knee knocker, mate. No, I still go for the uh, the bar behind. Sorry, that's a, a comment on one of my earlier films on this. All right, ladies and gents, give it a little go. Take it back. And 
and again I'm bringing it near to near to that right now I'm just going to take the zipper up out of the way down on me nicely. And again to finish that stitch off. There we go. Take that one off. Sorry, the one underneath. I always go around and tidy my threads up later on. But uh, as you'll see now, there's the one strip line there. Put that in there. Make sure that one's under there. Now I'm going to turn it over. I'm not going to bother sewing down there because that will just gives it enough lift. But I'll make sure that's pulled over nice and tight. And all I'm going to do is sew down there. Oh. And again, a little slow starting off there, but that's just has got the candle in the way. you pull both through to the back and again but it's easier to do I'm going to turn it around get rid of that cotton and there'll be one at the back which can sound be a bit naughty Always try and get stuff flat, and uh, if you're sewing at a right angle, then try and uh, get it squared up to your machine. So I'm going to run my hand all the way down there, get that out of the way, and give that a good pull, a good tug. Start from there. That's it. And there she is, ladies and gents. That was it. Cover. It's a bit posh for me, I think. But yeah, I think David Fairs will be quite impressed with that. He's, he, he's a bugger for his detail. But when you're buying something off him, you know, it's, it's, it's on point. So I'm only semi-taking the mic there. All right, ladies and gents. Yeah, I didn't really think I was going to do that. But just had a little thought to posh it up a little bit. So all I'm going to do now is... Uh, Using that one in the same way, do another one. I'm not going to bore you with how to do that because I've just shown you. Take care. Right, ladies and gents, just uh, bringing it back now. Uh, got to the stage now where I've done the back of the Bergen and the shoulder straps. I've sorted out my waist belt. I'm even giving myself a, a various a variation on that belt, which I'll, I'll bring you back to much later on in the film. And obviously, as you know, I'm doing this in stages because most people won't really have the time or the inclination to watch a half hour, 45 or, you know, an hour film. But, so what we're looking at now is the back of the Bergen, side, side, and that's the bottom, the top to be another, um, another film. But that basically is how I want the configuration of the Bergen. Now, there are two uh, Marauder zip-on pouches, they both zip on. Um, and when I was mucking about with this last night, just trying out some variations, uh, actually I was honoured because Ms. Tightwad says she really likes the combination of the colours and the uh, variation in it. And there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with me just using them two side pouches that you can see on there. They'll zip on and off. Um, 
it's taken me like building two almost almost identical pouches. But what I want to do is I'm making one Bergen that's going to do a lot of variations on me. Um, and here we see a Hidden Woodsman pack that I got very, very cheaply, sorry, there. Um, and that's the sort of pouch I'm going to go for, but it will come off and come on, okay? Um, so when I want to take it off, it's just like a haversack. Uh, and that's roughly the size I'm going to get it. I don't want it too deep, because I always make it too deep as in high off the Bergen. So I'm going to follow them dimensions pretty much. Um, but I've got an innovative, I can't even say that because I've got no front teeth, way of um, attaching this to the Bergen securely and then taking it away from the Bergen secure, securely. But as I want this to be modular and just um, fit for purpose, whatever I'm going to be doing on the day, um, that will be able to come on and off. So, and once it's off, it'll be, the one I make will be my shoulder, my shoulder bag, or as the wife called it, the man bag. Right, so, Again, it's all process of thinking, so um, I'm going to put two zips there. So just say I'm carrying the shoulder strap and I'm doing an overnighter. Rather than have it on the bottom or the top, I'm going to make another one of these, uh, slightly different dimensions. I can zip that one on. That's actually supposed to go around like that. So there will be two zips going up there. Uh, with the old posh covers um, that won't get in the way, won't sort of uh, distract from me Bergen, I'm not too worried about things look like, but I will also have the ability to zip on a shelter pouch there as you see it. Um, and as long as I've got the zips there I can design any style of pouch I want and it will always zip on. The only common denominator I will do, it will have to be obviously the same um, dimensions of zips. Um, so that, that's, that's me thinking now, that's where I'm going to end this video, um, but yeah, zips up there with the flaps, just to close it, and then obviously a, way, uh, a satchel that will go on, will strap on the burger, and decided what I'm going to do with this space at the moment, may leave the space, may not, um, I could actually see um, what soldiers would know, like a poncho roll that will go there, that would take, say, just say, even if it's just me waterproof jacket or me poncho that I like using, so it's instantly grabbed to pull off and just get, get it sorted. But ladies and gents, I, I am waffling on here. Uh, this is going to finish off the stage of this video uh, where I've got the back sorted out. I'm now going to go away, design and make one of them, and I'll make it as a separate film. So you, if anybody wants to do a Aversac, and one that will attach to a Bergen, any Bergen, um, you'll be able to do that. So I'll do that as a separate film. But like I say, um, this is kind of a lot, I know, everybody that knows me, I'm a bit of a gawker man. I do like the odd uh, variation in the colours and so forth. And uh, I know Marty Cuff that will set off his OCD big time, so there's a couple of reasons for doing it. But yeah, so when that comes off, just to recap, two zips up there, so I can have that pouch, Pull up with all my shelter kit and all that type of stuff. Um, if you're making the burger yourself, make it how you want it. Because I tell you what, the money doing the one. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gents, so when I, when, when I start me uh, satchel, man bag, whatever you want to call it, I'll bring you back on that. But that's that's the film thus far. And uh, appreciate all your comments uh, and all your likes and stuff like that, ladies and gents. And uh, take care. I hope everybody's staying safe in this. Uh, well, these troubled times, we've got the lurgy upon us. <laughs>